Today, we're going to take a look at what to do with your media once your project is finished. We'll take a look at how to archive your projects, events, or even full libraries, and move them to an external hard drive for storage without losing any of your media. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just a quick reminder that likes, comments, and shares are always appreciated, so if this video is helpful to you, please let me know. Let's take a look at my demo library in Final Cut Pro. This library contains 13 events, 126 audio and video clips, and 6 projects. It's not huge, but it's starting to get a little bit cluttered. What we're going to do is move some of the media we're done with, or the stuff we're not currently using, onto an external hard drive. First thing I want to start out with is archiving a finished project. This is the most space efficient method of archiving your media. When you move a project to an external hard drive, only the project and the clips that are used in that project are moved. Any clips not used in that project are left behind. So, with your external hard drive connected, in the menu bar click File. Here you have two options of moving your project. Copy Project to Library, or Move Project to Library. If you select Copy Project to Library, Final Cut Pro will make a copy of your project and any media clips used in that project and copy it to your selected location. I'll select Copy Project to Library and select New Library. I'll navigate over to my external disk and create a library for my project. In the next pop-up window, you can select whether to include any optimized or proxy media. I'll leave these deselected and press OK. My project and all the media in it are copied to my new library. But if I go back to my original library, my project and all my media are still there. This method works good for creating a backup copy of your media. So you end up with two copies, one on the original disk and one on the destination disk. Next, let's try moving our project to a new library. Select and move project to library, Final Cut Pro will physically move your project and the media in it to another library. I'll select my project and from the file drop down menu, select move project to library, select new library, and create one on my external disk. Instead of copying my media, Final Cut Pro physically moved my project and any media used in it to my external drive. If I go back to my original library, my project and the clips used in it are gone. Now, if you chose leave files in place when you imported your media, there's one more step you have to take. Select your external library, and from the menu bar select File, and Consolidate Library Media. Doing this will ensure all media used in your project will be moved over to the external drive. Much like moving or copying a project to another library, you can also move an entire event and all the clips and projects in it. To move your entire library to an external drive, command click all your events to select them. But look what happens when I click File from the drop down menu. The option to move events to library is grayed out. This is because every library in Final Cut Pro must contain at least one event in it. If you move all your events to an external disk, your original library will be left empty. To get around this, you have to create one more event in your library by pressing File, New, and Event. This new event does not need to have any media in it. So, once again, I'll command click all my events, except the new one I just created, and click File, Move Events to Library, and select my destination library. Now all I have to do is consolidate my library media, and done. My entire Final Cut Pro library is moved to my external hard drive. Moving your projects, events, and libraries using this method will ensure you don't run into the dreaded red missing file screen. And I do know it's possible to move an entire library to an external disk and finder, but I've had issues in the past with missing media when using that method, so I personally would not recommend it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments or by liking this video. New videos release weekly, so if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back for another Final Cut Pro tutorial.